You or me? You? You're better dying than I am. Lucky, I guess. Now for you. Where's Scarborough? You hurt my brother. Where's Scarborough? Get up there. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where's Scarborough? Doc, Doc. He's in a little town in Arizona. Velarde. Velarde, huh? Well, it looks like Texas is gonna have to do without us for a while. What are we gonna do with them? Oh, we'll drop them off with the marshal. Well, that takes care of Klein and Browser. Well, we're almost even. understand it, Cully. You sent us all these wanted posters with no picture and no description. I know what you mean. Look, while you're in Tucson City picking up that prisoner, see if you can scout up some information on Scarborough. Right. Keep that prisoner manacle on the way back, you hear? He'll be as meek as a geek, Johnny. Don't you worry. Good luck. Good afternoon, Sheriff. Hello, Mr. Collins. Sending your deputy on an errand? Yeah. yeah. It seems an extravagance to employ a deputy in a town so peaceful and quiet as this one. Oh, it has other moods. How's your book? Oh, well, you know, I came west hoping to find inspiration for my writings, but I find that I can only read the inspired jottings of others. This is um, Chaucer. He was a 14th century poet. You know, his most famous work was entitled The Canterbury Tales. You may possibly have heard of it. Well, it was said he was inspired by the Decameron of Boccaccio. Yeah. The one I like best in it is the, the tale of the yeoman. Good day. I mean, anybody, just anybody can come right up and talk to you. Well, I'm paid well to listen. Oh, anything? <laughs> What's your name? Reno. Mike Reno. This is my brother, Chris. Howdy. Uh, you boys gonna be in town long? Well, not long enough, I guess. We're on our way to Villardi. Oh, Ringo's town, huh? Ringo? You mean Johnny Ringo? He's a sheriff there. A sheriff. All these gunfighters run in towns. First Wyatt Earp, and now him. Does Ringo own the whole shebang like Earp? No, um, they say the folks in Villardi are pleased to have him. Pleased or pressured? You know, I'll bet that's why Scarborough's there. I'll bet Ringo gives runners like him protection for a price. Well, we ain't got time to make it tonight. Say, miss, what does a young, healthy boy do for excitement around here? Oh, I'm sure you can find it nicely by yourselves. That's no fun. Well, where would we start looking? <laughs> 
flew open. You must be a lot fatter than you look, Mike. You're a lot louder than you ought to be. Well, then, let's stop talking. That's all right. Mister, you said excuse me, didn't you? No, Sonny, I didn't. Oh? See how loud you are with a gun. Oh, come on, mister. Why don't you forget it? You're next, Sonny. I want your loud mouth buddy first. Go up, Mike. Now listen, mister. I just asked my brother to hold up because I know he's got a hairy temper. Now don't you ask him again because he might get mad. And then all talking's done. <laughs> Show him, Mike. You just wait a minute. Talk to you boys later. You sure you boys can't bide a while in town? I got a girlfriend who's pretty and partial. Oh, partial to what? Men. Well, ma'am, we, uh... Mike, I lost my tie ring. It must have come off during a fight. Come on. Look, it wasn't our next we was worried about. You're the one they're gunning for. We've done our best to force a shootout. They, they just wouldn't draw. I'll bet. Well, what are we gonna do now? Klein and Browser ain't showed up. The Reno brothers probably got them too. That would explain how they know I'm in Velarde. First Hyatt and Tomajan, and then Klein and Browser. The only name left on the list is Scarborough. Now, look, uh... Richie and me come in for a fat slice of this Bigelow shipment. Not for a showdown with them Renos. There'll be no showdown. As a matter of fact, we'll profit two ways and still collect the Bigelow money. What are you talking about? This little tiring may well present the final chapter in the rather noxious story of the Reno brothers. How's business? Uh, fine. Uh, Johnny, uh, do you recall some brothers by the name of Reno? Yeah, notorious train robbers. They were killed by federal men a couple of years ago. Why do you ask? Well, uh, their ghosts have been haunting this tour for the last ten minutes, asking about a man I've never heard of. The Renos? Well, let's take a look. Look, I... I'm sorry to be rude, but I've got work to do, and I've told you. I've never heard of a man by the name of Mr. Scarborough. Well, he probably has a hundred different names. Now, he's in his late 30s, and he's kind of a heavy set fellow. He... Johnny, this is Sheriff Ringo. Have you ever heard of a man by That's the name... That's all right, miss. We heard bells about you, Mr. Ringo. Uh, Sheriff. What's your names? My name is Mike Reno. It's my brother, Chris. The Renos I've heard about were killed a couple of years ago. That's right. Are you related? Our older brothers. There were six of us. What are you doing in Velarde? Visiting. We like to travel. Who are you visiting? Friends. Who are your friends? Well, uh, we kind of like to make them as we go along. Chris, there's a saloon over there. That's as good a place to start as any, don't you think? Yeah, better than right here, maybe. It's been a big chill meeting you, Mr. Ringo. 
Thank you for trying to help, miss. Not at all. We'll come back when it's not quite so crowded. Let's go for it. Let's hope this town doesn't get too crowded. What'd you make of them, Johnny? I don't know. Those Reno brothers were a wild bunch. But there are any boys trying their wings. Yeah. Those boys are carrying guns under their wings. boys. They just keep hanging around, as if they were waiting. Is that a crime? No, but they're Reno's. Well, you can't condemn them for that. Well, I'm not condemning them, Case. But I am going to find out what it's all about right now. Reno's, I'd like to talk to you. Nice town you got here, Ringo. Good folk living in it. Kind of makes a body wonder. About what, son? How you came to be sheriff of it. You're going to tell me why you're in Filardi. And you can leave out the flattery about gracing us with a visit. Why don't you stop playing patty cake with us, Ringo? You know why we're here. Oh, do I? Well, if I knew, I forgot. Remind me. Well, we'll just give you a little hint. We come to get somebody. A friend of yours, most likely. Who? He needs another hint, Mike. Scarborough. Carter Scarborough. Scarborough. Wasn't he and his gang connected with your brothers at one time? That's right, Sheriff. He was. Our dead brothers. Well, then what do you want with him? We just want to get even. We caught up with four of his gang, and Scarborough's next. Not in my town, he's not. This doesn't concern you, Ringo. This town does. So you want to be just like your brothers. The famous Reno name has to live on, and that means you have to live up to it. We've been trying to live it down. No one's better versed in living down a name than Johnny Ringo. Save it, Case. Oh, yeah? Well, the name Ringo has meant amen to a lot of folk. The meaning of a name can change. You know, it's funny. Our pa used to say the same thing to us when we were kids. After our brothers brought him so much grief. You bear the name of Reno, boys. When you grow up, that's gonna hang around your neck like a thuggy knot. But you wear it. You do good. And every day that knot will get looser and looser. Can you see this, Sheriff? Reno. And you know something? It's getting looser every day. I'm going to ask you once more. Why are you looking for Scarborough? Scarborough and his gang sent our brothers into a trap with no back door. Just so as they could have the loot they stashed on our pa's farm. Loot pa never touched, but still had to die for it. They murdered your father? That's right. So you killed four men to get even. Well, let's just say we caught up with four men. Scarborough will make five for five. Then we'll be even. Why not leave it to the law? Come on, Mike. We've been talking long enough. Scarborough's got a dozen murders on his head. Now, if he's in this town, I'll take care of him. Well, you better find him before we do. <laughs> Come on, 
What are you going to do, Johnny? Just going to leave him alone and watch. But what if Scarborough is in time? Then their being here is about the best thing that could happen. Scarborough is one of the most wanted men in the country. I don't know what he looks like, but they obviously do. So let's see if they can lead me to him. Once I put a thing in motion, I complete it. No. I still think it was a fool idea coming back to Velarde. Through the years, I've exercised great care in keeping this face from adorning wanted posters. Well, I can't say the same. No doubt. If I, the Eastern novelist, were suddenly to vanish after our most recent incident with the gold company, a man as knowledgeable as that Ringo has proven to be would take little time in associating one with the other. So what? By that time, we could be well on our way. Yes, and my face would be well on its way to ill-desired fame. No, gentlemen. You will stay hidden in these rooms. Everyone wait and watch. Patience is truly a virtue. And we won't have much longer to test it. Sheriff, the Biglow shipment's been stole. I come up on the coach back at Rady Crossing. Where's the driver and the guard? Jake, you'll fill him. I'd better tell his daughter before she finds out some other way. Oh, wait a minute, Case. So that's why they're here. They must run in their family. I wouldn't do that against a showdown. Get into my office. What is this, Ringo? You think we had something to do with it? You heard me move. All right, folks, break it up. All right, take off your gun belts. Take them, Case. Now, let's see that tie ring again, the one you're so proud of. Why don't you have one? I lost it. Where? At Rady Crossing? Where'd you get that? Out of a dead man's hand. Huh? I'll bet he fought real hard for his life, didn't he? You mean that was on the... Those hotheads in Tuxum City. They must be Scarborough's men. I'll bet that's why they were so primed to have a fight with us. What are you talking about? I lost that two nights ago in a fight. Where? In Tuxin City. It's a small Yeah, I know where it is. Listen, now, Scarborough's trying to lay the blame for that stick up on us, just like he done to our brothers. So that's why you were looking for Scarborough. He cut you out of the robbery. That's a lie. Then how did you know he was in Pilate if you weren't... Two of his gang were supposed to meet him here. Now, let me tell you something. Scarborough has probably been sitting in your lap for a week, and you didn't even know it. He's a man of parts, and he's played a lot of them real convincing. He's so slick, he could convince you that he was you. What does this man of parts look like when he's all together? Like cold oatmeal, pasty face, heavy set with a baggy gut. And he's foul. Ain't nothing sacred to him. He's play acted everything from a book writer to a preacher. Is there anyone else besides you who could positively identify him? Well, there's an old sheriff back in Red Hill, Texas. Knew him back when. Get in there. What are you doing? You heard me. Now, you can't do this to us. I'm doing it. Someone I want you to meet, if you're still in town. In case you met Mr. Collins, didn't you? You think he might be Scabber? I think it's worth checking out. Be careful, Johnny. Hey, mister! Come here! Is he going after somebody he thinks could be Scarborough? That's right, son. Well, then don't let him go alone. Ah, he'll be all right. Look, if it is Scarborough, he's probably got his men with him. Scarborough will never let him bring us face to face. You leave us in here and we all lose. Look, just let one of us out, Mike or me. At least that way there's a chance. You mean you let one of you stay? Sure. Yeah. May the good Lord and Johnny Ringo forgive me. Is it? Sheriff Ringo, Mr. Collins, I'd like to talk to you. Well, I wonder, perhaps, Sheriff, if it could wait. 
I've just caught a rather bad call and I've been confined to my bed all day. I'm sorry to hear that. What is it you wanted to see me about, Sheriff? Trust me now, Johnny. You can hate me later. I asked you what it is you wanted. Well, I, I hate to get you out of bed, Mr. Collins, but I would like you to come down to my office for a minute. Your office? That's here, my Scarborough. Just what is it you want? We want you, Scarborough! <laughs> Take the window, meet you downstairs. Wait. Always get the wrong window. <laughs> you, you want Chris and me to do what? Uh, you heard me. The district marshal could use a couple of fellas like you to patrol the area around southern Arizona. And you want us to apply for the job? Sure. If you fellas are always getting into trouble, you might just as well use that energy and put it to good use, behind a badge. You said you wanted to make friends. And you'll always be working together. Well, what do you say? Uh, uh... Ringo, you got yourself a deal. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck. Well, what are you waiting for? You nothing. Tells me we're going to hear a lot about those Reno brothers.
fastest gun in all the West, the quickest ever known. Lucky, I guess. Now for you. Where's Scarborough? You hurt my brother. Where's Scarborough? Get up there. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where's Scarborough? Doss, Doss. He's in a little town in Arizona. Velarde. Velarde, huh? Well, it looks like Texas is gonna have to do without us for a while. What are we gonna do with them? Oh, we'll drop them off with the marshal. Well, that takes care of Klein and Browser. Well, we're almost even. understand it, Cully. You sent us all these wanted posters with no picture and no description. I know what you mean. Look, while you're in Tucson City picking up that prisoner, see if you can scout up some information on Scarborough. Right. Keep that prisoner manacled on the way back, you hear? He'll be as meek as a geek, Johnny. 